We are your local election headquarters, and there is just one more day left to cast your ballot early. And in Midland, people are voting for some big shoes to fill. Four candidates are looking to fill the seat of late City Council member Dan Corrales. The City Councilman died unexpectedly back in January, and the City of Midland says that Texas law requires that a governing body hold a special election within 120 days of a vacancy occurring. And now Midlanders will decide between five people who should take that seat. They are Cheston Blank, John Burkholder, Eric Davidson, James R. Bull Henry, and Ben Roberts. And there are several places that you can cast your vote early tomorrow. All of these locations are open from 8 in the morning to 5 p.m. And that includes the Midland County Annex Building, the Centennial Library, the United Supermarket that's located on Midland Drive and Manor Park. And these locations are the same ones that you can vote at on Election Day, which is on Saturday, May 4th. And so far in Midland, more than 1,600 people have made it out to those locations to cast their votes early. Meanwhile, 162 people mailed in their ballots. And that means a total of 1,815 votes have come in for Midland County early. So be sure to stay with us for the latest results. Meanwhile, tomorrow is also the last day for early voting in Big Spring. There's several school issues on the ballot this spring. There's two propositions on the ballot for people across Howard County. Proposition A would issue more than $216 million to the district for school facilities. The district says this is a property tax increase as taxes will be levied to pay for the principal and the interest on the bond. Now, meanwhile, Proposition B would issue $2.3 million to the district. That money would be used for Memorial Stadium. The district says that money will go towards new ball field lighting and an eight lane track for students use. You can vote tomorrow from 7 to 7 at the Election Center in Big Spring on FM 700. That's also going to be the location where you can cast your ballot come Election Day. The Howard County Elections Office tells us it's important to note there is not voting held at any courthouse in Howard County. And remember, we are your local election headquarters. Be sure to stay updated with us right here on ABC Big 2 for the latest. And you can also read more right now on yourbasin.com.